Three years of misery, injuries, and being isolated from the starting 11, Donny van der Beek, who joined Manchester United in 2020 as arguably the hottest box-to-box -box midfielder in Europe, has finally come to the end of his career at Manchester United. Frankfurt is the preferred destination, according to Fabrizio Romano, but what exactly do we learn from the failure of van der Beek and so many other star players who have joined us but failed to perform? Welcome to the hot spot. My name is Webb. Enjoy this video. Now, Van der Beek is said to join Frankfurt, at least from Fabrizio Romano. Uh, Frankfurt are in advanced talks with Manchester United to sign the 26-year-old Dutchman on loan in January. And the expectation is that there could be an option of buying him permanently. Now, you can imagine this player who a few years ago was one of the hottest properties in the world, signed for 35 million pounds. That's the initial payment United was supposed to make. And 5 million in add-ons by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But only going on to play about 35 games in total, scoring only two goals, including one in the preseason. Perhaps his best goal for United or his best moment coming in preseason in the U.S. when he scored and celebrated as if he had scored a Champions League final winning goal. But you, you would imagine, considering that most of his time at United has been in the sick room, he has been injured most of the times, and even when he was fit, he couldn't command a place in the starting eleven. even when uh, the, the coach, Eric Ten Hag, worked with him at Ajax, where he, he saw tremendous success. So it shows you that, Players have struggled. And guys, it's not only Donny van der Beek. There are so many great players who joined United, but immediately their careers died. Either they were laid down by the lack of a structure. And this is how the lack of a structure will affect even hot players. Because you can't tell me that Donny van der Beek is as bad as he has appeared to be for all the time he has been at United. But the fact that United has got no right structure for even the great players to operate, it's always going to leave them exposed. And that's exactly what affected Di Maria. That's exactly what affected Falcao. That's exactly what affected Alexis Sanchez. That is what affected Paul Pogba too. That is what affected so many big players that we signed post Sir Alex Ferguson. But they were never able to live to the expectation of most. So there should be a lesson. And for me, the Van der Beek uh, lesson is huge. I think clearly we've got big issues, at least by then. We had big issues with our medicine or, or department, with our doctors, with our medical department. I thought we were wanting. Uh, certainly we should have signed Donny Van der Beek when he wasn't fully fit. That is one. Just like so many other players we brought, Amrabat, who comes in with an injury, uh, Rasma Soiland comes in with an injury, Rafael Varen comes in with an injury, and you're thinking, is this our strategy to sign sick players as United that cannot give us the best of them? Is it deliberate? But again, it takes you back to the issues we've had. That when you do not have a proper structure, a proper leadership around the team, the coaches, the managers will do what they want. Olegana Sosha will go home and dream about players he likes and will bring in a Donny van der Beek who maybe will not fit in at United. But because there is no structure, can you blame Sosha? No. Same with, uh, with, with uh, uh, Eric Ten Hag. Clearly, he's struggling now with signings he made because he was doing everything on his own. Mason Mount is a player he was fascinated about. I don't think if we had a director of football who was interested and knew what he was doing, they would have sanctioned the signing of, uh, of, of Mason Mount. So that's the exact situation that United has been in, has, has been in for years. And this is exactly why Sajim Ratcliffe is coming in to solve the problems that have seen us lose some of the best players in the world when they join us in their prime, but they fail at United because the football matters at the club were left in the hands of whichever manager is in charge. So you appoint a manager and let him be the Mr. Know-it-all. It can't be. You cannot manage a club like Manchester United on your own. You need, even Sir Alex Ferguson had David Gill with him. You need support. And that's exactly what uh, uh, Sajum Ratcliffe is trying to do. Bring in a CEO who has a clue about football in Jean Cloud Blow. Bring in Paul Mitchell, a, a new uh, director of football or sporting director who has got proper technical abilities when it comes to scouting players. He's proven that is what you want to see at a club like Manchester United so that we don't see the same mistakes. Bring in a new guy in charge of medicine. The uh the, the the guy from arsenal so uh it, it shows you that uh, united has certainly been in shambles and 
it has affected the players. Obviously, when a football club is in shambles, the first people who will be affected are the players because they are the biggest, most important stakeholders of the club. Everything around the club, if it's not working, it will affect them. If the facilities are bad, as Cristiano Ronaldo said, certainly the players will not be having the best training, so they will not be fit enough. That is why they are complaining about fitness. It is clear that our players are not fit. Eric Ten Hag himself confirmed it, that he does not have the quality to be consistent. Now, what exactly are we doing? You cannot compete in the Premier League or at the topmost level if you can't be consistent. In, if, if anything, you cannot succeed in life if you're not consistent. Life and success are about doing the same thing and then the right thing and then you repeat it the, day, the next day, the other day, the other day, the other day until the end. Consistency. But United, even in the manager's admission, is not consistent. Why? Because the whole structure is a mess. Consistency is achieved when the structure is organized and you all know why, to where you want to go and the manager has just got to give you the plan of this is how we want to get where we want to go. This is the identity we want. United for now has got no identity and that is why players will come, even the biggest, and they will fail. For as long as we stay like this, trust me, more Donny van de Beeks are going to join us. We'll talk about all these players we want to sign in January or in the next summer, however hot they are. Even if you brought the hottest player in the world right now, probably Kylian Mbappe trust, or Jude Bellingham, trust me, without a proper structure, they will all, of, uh, they will all follow the route of Donny van de Beek. We do need to put the structure right. And that's why I think now we should be calling and advocating for the immediate arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe if matters are going to improve at Manchester United. But as Donny van de Beek lives, I do want uh, to give me your opinion about his time at United because surprisingly, whereas we've not got anything out of van de Beek, many people, because he's been earning £120,000 per week, but many people feel that, uh, feel a bit of sympathy towards van de Beek. Many people feel like uh you know his failure is not entirely about him they feel like he did not pro have a proper chance to prove himself well unfortunately that's the nature of football that injuries are part of the game injuries are part of it so it depends on how you take care of your body it's not by mistake that you get some players get big, bad injuries and others don't it's it takes a lot well you can be unlucky but uh it's also about how you've been taken care of how or how you take care of yourself so we cannot sit here and know what exactly happened with van der Beek. But I love the fact that for him, it's not just about the money. Even when he was still contracted, for him, it's never about the money. He wants to be playing football. I mean, he's only 26. That should be his prime age. We had not seen the best of Van der Beek, even when he was playing his hottest football at, uh, at, at Ajax. So, obviously, he wants to go and push to try and be better. Real Sociedad have shown that they wanted him before. Right now, it is Frankfurt who are in talks with United to try and get him on loan. So meaning Manchester United still, still leave a small window uh, for him to stay and maybe come back and fight. Whether that can happen might be difficult. But if the structure in, is there, trust me, it can happen. Maybe it is only right for Van der Beek to first go away, try and see if it works. If it doesn't, he's sold or he's released or he sees out his contract. But of course, not so many clubs can be able to meet his £120,000 per week. That's why United is stuck with him. Whereas they would have wanted to sell him, the best they can do, at least for now, is negotiate for a loan move with Frankfurt. Cotsport, subscribe. My name is Webb.